Star Wars TIE Fighter number one there on the left of your screen. You're seeing the cover of Alphabet Squadron over on the right side of your screen. Now, we've known about Alphabet Squadron for a long time. New novel coming out June 11th. Okay, this is being written uh, by Alexander Freed. Great writer. Has done a couple Star Wars projects already. Really excited about this. I thought this was a, a kid's book. No, no, no. This is legit. Alphabet, Alphabet Squadron is a novel that's coming out that's going to be, uh, you know, has X-Wings and U-Wings, the B-Wings, the Y-Wings, the A-Wings. You see that on the cover. They're going to be taking on this, like, they're going to be hunting down this elite squadron of Imperial TIE Fighter pilots. Let's go to that comic now, which you're seeing on your screen. On the left side of your screen, you see that? Okay. So this comes out in April. Dope cover. Like, who's not going to buy this cover? Even if you're not a Star Wars fan, you're buying this cover. It's gorgeous. It's all shiny, the colors. I talked about this on Beyond the Panel Thursday night. It's epic. You see the battle happening in the window panes behind the pilot's head. The TIE fighter, or excuse me, the X-Wing fighter in the lenses of the pilots. That, that's just insane. This comes out in April, and this is a five, I think it's going to be five-issue miniseries talking about, talking about this Shadow Wing. Shadow Wing is this group of elite uh, TIE fighter pilots we're in the last moments of the Galactic Empire. Both these stories happen immediately after Return of the Jedi. So a great point in the Star Wars timeline that we haven't explored a lot yet. We get to check that out. I'm pumped. I do a deeper dive on this. Do we have that thumbnail, Jordan, of the, the, the thumbnail of that one? There we go. Boom. This thumbnail. This video. Look for that on the channel after the episode wraps up. I do a little bit deeper of a dive. I do want to mention uh, that we have, uh, real quick, a tweet from Del Rey that uh, kind of gives us some background on the cover character for Alphabet Squadron. Her name is uh, Kira, I think. I, I'm not sure how to pronounce this name. I'm almost embarrassed by how terrible that was. Um, but that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, she, she flies an X-Wing fighter. Uh, she's Alphabet Squadron. Uh, and really, we just pulled that up because I needed I needed her name. Or is it uh, Eureka? No, Rika? Rika Quail? I don't know. That's all I know. I think the real controversy in, it, in this, and this is what I want to bring up because I didn't have this on Thursday night when I started doing this. Shout out to Genome Presence in the live chat. Celos is still with me. Ian Kistler, Comic Zombie. Glad to have you folks with me. We get this tweet from Chuck Wendig now. So apparently, he just comes out of nowhere on Twitter and he's like, he retweets Star Wars tweet about Imperial TIE Fighter number one. And he's like, by the way, this was that other project that I was originally writing, uh, or, or to that effect. And to me, it, it kind of feels like a Kanye moment. Let me explain. On the same image, you look down at the sub tweets that he puts out there, right? He's like, now I'm sure Jody Hauser's going to do a great time, but I'm just putting it out there because at the time when I was fired, everyone knew I was working on a second project. They thought I was working on a novel. No, I was working on this comic book series. And it honestly, this is like Kanye West and freaking Taylor Swift. It's like, hold on, Jody. Congratulations on helming this project that everybody's going to be buying in April. Everyone's going to be obsessed about. We haven't had a comic and novel crossover yet in Star Wars. This is like history in a way in this Disney era of canon. But before you take that over, I just want everybody to know this was mine first. Uh, I, I like Chuck Wendig. I really like his Aftermath trilogy. Um, I think that this was probably an innocent, like, hey, I'm just just clarifying, but a lot of people are taking it bad, and it's not hard to see why. Um, I, I'm i bummed out we don't have Chuck Wendig writing Marvel Star Wars right now. Hopefully that means he can still write the novels. Uh, Del Rey and Marvel, obviously not the same company, but it kind of felt like for a moment we were upstaging her, and I don't think right now we should be like praising Jody Hauser because she's giving us gold week after week with these uh, Age of Republic stories. Uh, she did the Thrawn book adaptation. She did the Rogue One comic adaptation. She's killing it. Like for me, it's like Charles Soule, Jody Hauser, but then like overall canon writers, it's still Claudia Gray. That Qui that Master Apprentice book that's coming out in April, I want as a birthday present. Jordan, if you love me as a friend, you'll get me this book, okay? All right, we'll see if you can make that happen. Uh, it comes out in April. That book is gonna be epic. I can tell. Apparently, like Qui Gon is like temp like playing around with the dark side of the Force in the book. That's gonna be great. Thank you for watching Beyond the Blast Doors. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. Beyond the Blast Doors, a Star Wars conversation.